I want to produce a painting with Warhammer as my initial inspiration. So first I'm looking for some reference images. So after looking for some reference images, I want to make this character but in this pose because I like this sort of area here. But I want the pan pointing upwards. Let's see what happens. This is just a digital planning phase. I was going to make it a digital painting but I was asked to try some traditional art so this is just a baseline. So I finished, printed it off at about 30% opacity and now I can start working into more detail. This is the smaller version which I've got this technique of using acetate with a bit of sellotape and then I can use these pens, board markers and I can make multiple iterations of design without making anything solid on the paper and then I can see like what I like testing out different ideas and then obviously this all can be started again. And then when I get to the final ones I can put it all in here. This is the bigger version that I'll be using. Made a set of some of the stuff that I'm going to need and also I've got some first hand uh, references here. So now I've completed some of this, doing some of the details and I'm thinking of introducing a tree. So this tree's got like a bit of a curve. It's gonna be sitting somewhere around here. I'm gonna try and do this now. Instead of spikes, gonna have flags. Maybe one here. Not sure where I'm at, but that's. Okay, and now up to here. Let's play with some tea bags. <laughs> Get a little bit of the here. This is how you clean. I'm trying to get some coffee. Oh, it's a bit too dark, maybe. Let's see what happens. A bit of an experiment, I guess. This is just a private paper, so that it's not just plain and simple. Gives a bit of colour. Now a little bit more colour. I'm going to do something. Let's give this a shot. Now, a bit of gold, metallic painting. Give it a bit of a shine. This here. So, here's a little viewfinder to try and isolate the amount I can see and hopefully improve the amount of detail I can give it. Okay, this is what I've got so far. You can see he's pointing his finger up this way, so I want the light travelling this way. Dark here, so he's basically calling upon darkness into the light. It's the sort of idea that I want. So, knowing that the moon's going to be here and the light's also going to be here, I'm going to start shading in, having the darkest areas on the left. Give this a little flicking technique. Ooh. The flicking is a little messy and a lot of fun. Some quick highlights. Started drawing skulls. Drawing circles out until a vanish point shows the perspective and distance of heads. It needs to get lighter as it goes further away. So here's my little reference to the horse, but it looks a bit plain. This is the horse I was using, we've got this. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of these designs here. You see like this here, the little here. That's when we start drawing in there, please do. And then up until now, I've got all this sort of stuff here, I'm going to do a shading. So I'm having some javelins. Getting some lighters, a focal point. I'm making another soldier guy here. I'm using this, this is an opportunity to make multiple iterations of head designs. This going to be the flying guy. There's some people flying off around here. And this guy here, pencil wings. So this is pretty much what I want the moon to look like and then also you've got like a, some tower here or buildings, lights maybe, maybe for fire coming off here you've got here where people are trying to uh, stop them going in and then if I zoom out, I basically I was thinking of a war zone if I was going to have a second character and it was mirroring I'd probably do a division line here showing from the light side to the dark side but then considering uh, I haven't got enough room on this paper and also I don't know what sort of character I want to contrast between this big guy maybe someone's already at the mercy of the strength or something or this guy here, I don't know and then uh, considering that, uh, then also this line probably be more like uh, over there or something go downwards so you can see it's like uh, the divisions over here and they're all going to there's an idea of uh, the moon and things like this. So this guy's basically kneeling down swearing at him. Uh, this guy there is just going to overpower him. Here's where all the lights going to come from. So I've got this thing. And the Roman like angels, I want uh, mainly white, red and gold. So now we're looking in for different uh, dynamic poses. We've got like, angels and stuff that can jump this way and find this way. So you've got this little angel here has been shot down. If I'm throwing javelins here, he should be shot down. So we've fallen from this guy. So up until now, I don't know where to colour this in, which is why I've got this. I made a print, and now I'm going to do some uh, testing to see what it's like different gradients in different places. So I'm just considering, should I paint in the sky, or should I not? Uh, right now, it's very light at the top, and normally, in the foreground to the background, it gets lighter and lighter as it shows distance with the fog. But I don't know, maybe I'm going to uh, just keep this circle here white, and the rest of the black darkness. But look at the Fibonacci sequence, all the details there, and then it gets left here. Maybe this corner needs to be a lot lighter than it is now. Yeah. So this is so far. So I've done some of the angles, a bit more detail, and now I'm thinking of introducing more. I'm going to jump on it. Okay, I think this is about good enough now. Do a little dark shading. So up until now I've got little statues on him, you've got a little chain here with like skulls on there. This one's got razor blades and like harness and things. And now we're gonna do some uh, some crows, some birds and things hanging around to make some ones come this way and think I'm a bear there, but I'm not sure yet. So if you look in the background, you'll see that this side is the sort of Roman army angel things, and uh, these all like regimented this like a lot of uh, structure. And then this one side is gonna be the the dark side, so this is gonna be like Dean sort of thing, it's gonna be like Kaywick. So you can have the division line right here. And then we're gonna work into this bit. These little characters, why well, not just planning out the stairs?
Sorry, I'm looking online. I like this here. So I'm going to add this in. And him, I'm going to start with this. So I'm speeding up a little bit, and this is what I've got so far. Just working into it, as I said before, making a double from this side of the light here. So up until now, this is what I got. It's the end of week one, and uh, it's not finished, but it's getting where it was. You can see where it's going, sort of thing. So you got this guy here. I like these guys, but I need more detail. It's just pure white. Also, I want like snow, a lot of snow trickling down here. Some storms coming in here. Maybe a polar bear there, armored polar bear. Some more detail on this. So maybe cuts, cracks. This here, this guy's armor needs to be darker, a lot darker. There needs to be some shadowing on this so it looks more three dimensional. Also, maybe another arrow nymph. Also, this white arrow needs to be filled in so it looks like proper with like red and different colored uh, back bits. Uh, some th these uh, monster things need more variation, they're all just pretty much skulls right now. I want to change that up a little bit. There needs to be more division with this so it separates the sword from the background characters. This needs more depth, going deeper in here. I like the light because this is where it's shot under here. But it needs to, you need to be more obvious that this is armies of people. This bit I like, where it needs to be worked into more. Again, this here needs to be worked into more. Maybe a couple more of these, a bird. This needs to be coloured in darker. This gold needs to be reworked. The, the sun, I'm thinking of just leaving as it is. This needs to be worked into. Obviously these need to be worked into. I want to be able to see each character. And you've got these things here, shooting, uh, shooting the balls out. So obviously this is going to take a lot more time. This is going to be changed. And then uh, I need uh, people jumping off this thing. So this one here, there's more angel people are going to be jumping off this need to work into the wings a lot more that hand I thought was funny at the time but now I'm going to change it to another sword so it's like that using acetate is pretty fun uh, work into this more this here I realised like this is way too big so I was thinking of separating that and then having multiple smaller ones going around there or it could be one big one but you know what, why would you have one big one maybe for the really long distances, showing people from further distances. All in all, this is what I've got done so far. And I want to continue this. I just need more army people here. Like so it's really contrasting and really powerful. And a really, really strong division here. Also here, I need these uh, to be f like fences, but they're big, big fences. And then smaller fences around here. These are like walls, partial walls broken. I like the the blue to orange, like this uh, sort of transition of colours here, which is nice. Yeah, it could still needs to be a lot of work, a lot of work done, but it's uh, it's alright. The floor as well, I need to work on the floors, a little bit of barbed wire, a little bit of grass, but it's all just basic representations, and then I can work into it more. On the next video, I'll be using magnifying glasses to try and get in as close as I can and get in better detail.